Hello guys and welcome to episode 38 of my Vistula campaign in Stone Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Previously we made a nice breakthrough with the 32nd Cavalry Regiment, and now we just need to look at what other units uh, need to be moved. So I'll probably go from left to right, we do have these units heading down here, so let's move those up. I'm also kind of tempted to send Battle Group for Nika over here rather than down that road because I think we may as well use the highway to come all the way across since this is going to be the largest concentration of forces left on the map. We're going to do the same with these units as well. This area is completely fine, especially with the backup of the Yagpanzers and the Panthers. So we'll do that. Same here, may as well just come across. Got group Christen. And the 2nd Battalion of the 12th Panzergram Regiment. And also the 2nd Battalion of the 130, 103rd Armoured Artillery Regiment. Okay, that's sort of the backline troops moved. Alright, these units. We could possibly push in on the flank here. We could hit the 466th Rifle Regiment just to batter them in here. Don't have too much that can reinforce though. Like, I think we'd be better off if we just kind of spread out further down and continue around the bottom side. There are a lot of troops here. I've got my infantry in position to just destroy these once they become disorganized. I guess I'll keep this one close. But then the first Panzergrain Regiment of the Helmand Göring. This does have some decent tanks. So I kind of want to keep it nearby. Let me move it there. Adagup von Gautzaka. Again, another one that's got a lot of armor. I think I'm just going to move them over here. Yeah, let's uh, move them as far as we can this way. Uh, then we'll have the AB Panzer Regiment here and going HQ, just stay where it is. This unit can like push in maybe. I don't want to leave it isolated on its own though. I'm going to do something like this. This might as well deploy. And the recon and the battalion would be really good for taking out these units because it has a lot of movement range. I might just leave it where it is. And the vanguard of the human guarding. Well, that might just be able to carry on as well or maybe we just move it over here so we can intercept the 65th tank brigade would be a good shout and the 46th panzer corps sitting in behind the battle group Kern, so we can reinforce should we need to sounds good all right so that's going to be all of the units on the left done towards the center we do have the bombardment we can do. I might just bombard the tanks for now. If I can, we'll bombard both of them. I think that was just out of range. I could attack the 160th tank regiment with the 1st Battalion of the SS Panda Regiment 3. That would be a pretty cool battle. They'd be backed up as well by IS-2s and the T-34s in phase A. If we bring in aircraft, it might just become the Ju-87 show. I could certainly do that. Yeah, let's have the 1st SS Panzer Regiment go in. I'm going to make sure that's not first. We're going to do the... First SS Panzer Regiment, we're going to bring in the 
fourth bomber wing. And we'll also push forwards with the Panzergrenz. Recon Panzer Battalion is probably not worth it. Engineer Battalion, no. I guess we're going to have to do Standard Grenadier, so we'll do that. Okay. I see what they bring. They did not back it up. Interesting. So this is going to be a waste of my bomber group. I was really hoping that they would just bring their all their tanks to bear. We just have this massive tank battle. Would have been really cool. But never mind. Uh, let's see. We probably just want to spread out Panthers and go from there. Because that's they're they're pretty much just gonna have Germans. I do have two star Panther rays. Kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna keep them in like threes and fours around where the leaders are. And then we'll have some infantry that can come with us. I'm also going to have a couple of JU-87s from the start. And these can just sort of secure the flags. Okay, that'll do. Let's launch. I'm probably going to bring out some more aircraft. What could we bring? J87 G2 is probably not a bad shout. I can pop a few in a row. Our Panther group's moving up. It's very cool. These uh, Valentines at close range are going to be kind of annoying to deal with, so let's go for the pop onto these. Should have better penetration against them than I do with the m -chair. Nice. Perfect. All of them taken out on the road there. That was a lovely strike. That one ran out of ammunition. Let's push up on this side. Those can get to the high ground. My Panthers aren't going to end up doing anything. My J U eighty seven's too good. Keep these all moving up. I'm actually gonna tell that one to stay where it is because I'm a little bit concerned about the Valentine. The Valentine has a really high rate of fire, so if I let it just do its thing, it's going to be hitting us pretty hard in the side armor if I get caught out. Right, this is a good good range. That yeah, should be fine. There we go. Jobs are good. And There we go. All right, we'll just have these attack move over here. We 
These panthers all pushing up. Very cool. move across end up bumping into that Sherman soon there he goes and he's dead <laughs> that's 24 to 0 goodbye 160th tank regiment total victory wiped out everything they brought in great so that is a relatively good thing we destroyed that but the fact is we leave ourselves vulnerable now to the is2s okay i can't attack any of these disorganized units i don't think or without something coming in in phase a and I can bombard this actually to stop them from attacking us. So we can at least do that. I could also bombard these cavalry regiments. Hmm. Bombard the 749th there. And then we'll have this one bombard the Ninth Guards Cavalry. Okay. This should have reinforcements should we get counterattacked by the 20th Tank Brigade. But we should be able to hold against them. Right, this self-propelled artillery group's kind of on its own. These are going to come into phase B. If I attack with these guys, I think we maintain the dug-in status because they are disorganized. Yeah, we do. Okay, perfect. I'm going to move this unit in here. And the artillery can try and go for that shot, but can't hit it. So I'll move that over there. This one can move down. Good. Could try and take out these guys, the uh, SU 76s. What do we have here to do that? Not too much. The tank destroyer battalion comes in phase B. Like having these AT guns would have been useful. I don't really have enough AT guns otherwise. The they pushed in here is kind of annoying. We have all of the artillery that can obviously bombard them to stop them from coming any closer, but a bit of a pain. I'm just going to bombard both of these. Okay. We've got these units around the back. But the one thing I do want to do is just uh, keep moving over with these units. So I might dig in this one. And we have the regiment group 384. Move on. And also the 2nd Infantry Regiment 232. Move on. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm going to put the 3rd Cavalry Brigade HQ here next to the 2nd Battalion of the 10th SS because they can at least reinforce in Phase B then. It's going to move over. It's going to move down. It's going to give room for the 3rd Battalion of the 10th SS to pull through. The second Panzer Regiment 27 to pull through. 
the AB Panzer Regiment or Panzer Battalion of the Hermann Göring to come all the way through. And then the second battalion of the 12th Panzer Grand Regiment. Okay. So that's moved all of those. We're in a good spot there. This unit could take the initiative and attack, but probably not the best idea. We just wait there. If one of these gets attacked, we use that to reinforce. We're going to have to leave the 5th SS Recon Panzer Battalion here to help reinforce these. But on the right, is there a chance we can push in? Could take out the 162nd Guards, but that would leave us vulnerable to the 30th Guards Independent Tank Regiment, uh, which is pretty nasty. Best bet is probably just to dig this unit in. Okay. Too many of these have uh, three activation points nearby, don't they? Let's bombard this one. I'm gonna bombard this one. Probably have bombarded the AAA actually. Would have been a good bombard. This one's gonna want to get closer one way or another. Probably to the left is better. Yeah, we'll do that. Because then we can use it to reinforce here. I'm going to set up my AA. That would have been nice to have them reinforced, but we'll have that up. We do have defenses here, so we should be okay. And I think that's everything done then for our turn. Unless there's some bombards I want to do with my bombers. I don't think there's anywhere where I really want to. I mean, maybe here. But that's under AA cover, so that's not going to work. Getting rid of the 607th AAA would have been really nice, but don't really have the ability to do so. Okay, I think we leave it as it is. That's everything done. Move on to the next turn. The failed attempt by Polish People's Army to cross the Vistula by force near Deblin, south of Warsaw. Okay. So, Belgrade Westland is under attack by the 1295th Rifle Regiment. We're going to have to bring in Group Totenkopf in Phase A otherwise we're going to get overwhelmed pretty quickly. Don't really have too much here. Didn't appreciate that that could be attacked like that. Don't want to pull these in because phase C is going to be a real difficult attack. I'm going to need some real meaty reinforcements of phase B. I'm going to have to pull these in I think. Or we could go for aircraft, but no, I think I need more on the ground. So we'll tactical battle and we'll jump on in. All right, thankfully, they're only using one unit, which means they're not going to have that many troops at any one moment, which is nice. So because this is a HQ section, we actually have some pretty elite forces, which is good. I'm going to send some pioneers here. We'll need pioneers to push town. I don't know where I'm going to put this MG. Like, I kind of need to put it in the center somewhere. Actually, I could bring it up on top of this hill. And then we could do, like, stern pyres or more, more normal pyres into the town, I guess. Stern pyres would be more useful... In the forested areas. We'll put them here. Okay. Could bring up some pack 40s. I'll we'll definitely bring up like a couple of Jagdpanzers. 
can fish across the open. I'll have one that goes up on top of this hill. I'll have one that covers the right hand side for us. And I uh, could probably do with a couple on the left as well. It's going to give us some serious armor. Other than that, we're relatively light on the ground. We really are. Gonna take some battery fuel with these down pioneers. Also tempted to use the pioneer fuel. Fuel could be a good idea as well, especially on like this right hand side might be a good shout. We'll probably bring in like more fuel later down the line. Okay, yeah, we'll try and get a speed rope into the tower. Gonna bring up speed rope on the right as well. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, let's go. This is a relatively precarious battle just because we do lack a lot of infantry. If we lose too many infantry units, it could still go badly. But I'm probably just going to try and force objectives sooner than later. It looks like... The right hand side's not defended properly, which is good. That's what I'm going to do. We'll have the Yugpanzer move all the way up there with the Grela. We're going to bring in another Gila and another tank. Alright, let's unload this. I'm going to try and run him into cover because it's going to get taken out very quickly otherwise. Okay, cool. How we doing? He's need to fall back. Well, that was a bit over ambitious. Gonna bring a Grela on the left. Got one in the middle. Okay, those are our Avtos. We are gonna have to be a little bit careful. Ooh, unload. Ooh, kill that OB. Good. Blimey, nearly lost a bunch of infantry there. Well, that's good. At least we have that pushing through. This can fall back. Gula should cover that for us. To move this up onto the hill on this extreme edge. We'll have these push through. Alright, so the right's under our control. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and spread these out. Okay, Stian Pioneers might die, but that's okay. They're kind of close range units, they're inevitably going to get in the pickle. Those half tracks are doing me some favors though, which is nice. Oh, a Yugpanzer went down. Avtos took them out. Close range. It's not good. Didn't have any infantry there to spot them, so yeah, we lost that tank, unfortunately. Bring in some gear pods, so we'll use those to take them out. Oh, this is going to be careful as well. Alright, going to get my spear troop up. Alright, 
Ooh, okay. Uh, there's a Straki coming up to you, so it should be okay. If we can take out that unit, that'd be really good. Another Avto? Ooh, and Mothra's with Kerr. Okay. That's not good. I think that Sturmpire is gone. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm going to move up the Jagdpanzer there. Just so it can get shot at. Okay, these two can push up to there. It's good we found that unit. I mean some Red Zwitika hanging around on this left hand side, so I'm gonna bring in the Shvi through. Okay, we're doing pretty well here, cleaning up some of this infantry. Getting some good eyes with the Avclutter. Alright, let's move up onto this church building. I'm going to move the Yagpans around the flank. And they do have a Straki DP, which does have... BPTRD. Okay, nice. We took that out. Good. As OB's got to go. Uh, my after I don't know what to do with him. I mean, I guess he's fine there for now. The speed throop, keep moving forwards. Gula can help at close range if needs be. Alright, Tomkov's completely in. Good so far. Keep that Sturm Pyre alive if I can, or the Afklader got found. That's okay. Twenty-two to four. Get some of this infantry moving up. Good. Looks like we're sorted. No AT guns as of yet, so the Gula have stayed alive. In a solid defense. A little worried about this middle bit for a little bit, but okay. If they had more troops in phase A, this would have been very difficult. Very difficult indeed. Thankfully for us, they didn't. That's a lot of troops. Maybe we can melt some of those. Get the 20 mils on target. Ah, never mind. Total victory. 9 minutes, 44 seconds. Plenty of damage done. We did lose a Jagdpanzer, unfortunately, but that's okay. I think I was more worried about losing infantry in that battle than tanks. Ooh, big attack. Here we go. Right. Probably just going to bring in the one unit behind. 
and then we'll have the defenses to back us up anyway, so I think we'll be alright. What sort of armor are we going to be up against? I don't think there is any. It's just going to be infantry pushing into our defenses. These defenses aren't terribly strong, but with the backup of the second battalion, we should be okay. I could bring in some aircraft just to be safe, but I don't think I need to. So let's tactical battle and we'll jump on in. Very limited amount of uh, infantry on our end. Okay, this is fine. Uh, this is such an open map that we can take out a lot of them before they even unload. But since I'm going to have to get down the fences, I'll be back with you guys in just a second. And my defenses are all set up. So I've only got like one unit of Panzergren in trenches on these left hand side. I haven't really set up any command either just yet. I do have some Panzergren Fuhrers dotted about, but I don't really have enough points to put a uh, load in. I've got Commandant in the center, just give all of this three star veterancy or at least two star. And then this Panzergen Fuhrer is going to buff all of these guys up. Uh, we do have Panzergen with bunker here and MD42. Of course, we're covering all the roads with the bunkers. MD42s in those buildings, more MD42s on the right. And two things are going to make this hard, and that is OBs and mortars. So I've brought in all of my mortars at the start. I've got the 81 mils and the 120s in the center. So we're going to focus OBs if we see them, and then artillery after that. There'll be a lot of stuff coming our way, so I'm hoping to get as many transport snipes as possible. And then on my first tick of income, I'm going to reinforce these Panzergrens. Doing okay so far. Oh, unfortunately, that one missed twice. I do have some spare trenches starting around as well. We do have this trench here, for example. But so far, so good. I don't see any OBs just yet. Did I not hit that at all? Okay, that's embarrassing. Uh, let's grab the supply trucks. Do I not have that many supply trucks? Wow, I really don't. I've only got like two supply trucks. Right, I'm going to bring in the one on the right then. It's more open, so it's more likely to be affected by OBs. Do have IGs? We do have well IG thirty threes and IG eighteens. I got both of those. Okay, let's bring in these Panzergrands. Gonna bring in a Panzergren up there, Panzergren there. Don't need none on there just yet. Probably need a couple in here. One there. Or here. Don't really have much more to give. It's fine. I just need to make sure all of my units unload when they get to the position they're supposed to be. And then we're good. Also, kind of tempted to bring up like a Panzer Booker here to where this MG42 is. Might be able to snipe some transports for us. The other thing I should definitely do is bring in maybe a Commandant here. That could be a good idea. Sniper's engaging that. Okay. 
Okay, starting to push in quite a lot here. I'm going to mortar that sniper just because it's going to do a lot of damage to my MG. Right, the other thing I'm going to do is we're going to bring in IG-33 up on this hill. We're going to bring one up on this side as well. Or you could put them in gun pits, honestly. Okay, good kill. Move this over. Normally they're not that aggressive on this objective, so it's interesting. Bit of a change up. That unit of Avto is there, just got demolished. They've got my little Panzer Buxer. That can take out some transports for us. Oh nice, that was a direct hit with both of those on the initial hit. Really good. Okay, this is just in range to affect both of those bunkers, but I think I'm going to move it over a little bit so it affects the Panzer Grenz as well. I forgot to put a trench here. Normally I do that so that I can recap that for a total victory. Not that it really matters on defense, actually. We'll do it anyway. I might bring in all of the IGs up here as well. She's getting wrecked. It's good to see. Take out that sniper as well. Go for the barrage onto that mortar. The one on the left is constantly hitting these bunkers. I haven't seen any OBs left yet. Maybe they ran out in previous attacks. That Avto is trying to cross the road. Oh dear. These guys in the in the trenches here, they called in for support, mortar support, and absolutely annihilated that sniper. This MG is almost out of ammunition. Could reload that, I guess. This one is as well. A bit risky to go and try and reload that one, but yeah. These MGs are going to do more in the long run than the mortars, so. Very good idea to keep them reloaded. I, mean, I might just unload these as they are, like so. These ones can get into cover if they want, but yeah, we'll leave those ones out in the open. Because I think the mortars are constantly going to go for the bunkers, as opposed to the IGs. Ooh, that might get hit by that 
on Tenerife Fire. I'm going to move this back. I don't think MG ammunition actually takes that much to reload, which is nice. Ooh, there we go. That's what we need to kill. Get that ASAP. Get rid of those OBs. And then MG fully reloaded. Looks like it was worth reloading these MGs. They're coming in again on that right hand side. Right, let's move this guy away. Oh, my Panzergren's actually run out of ammunition. I'm gonna move the Panzerbuchse back because it's just in a little bit of a tough position there. Without the Panzergrens firing away, it's going to end too well. I'm going to bring in this mortar half track though, that should help. You know, right pile up of trucks here, isn't there? Right, seven minutes left. I think MG42 trumps Sniper, especially with the 3 star veterancy. Yeah. Gonna bring up an Alfredo for the right hand side. I'm still gonna bring up some more Pioneers over here. Oh, that was very close. One of these guys just coming and going. Ordered to run across the field into MG fire. Those Avtos running around all over the place there, they can't be shot at by my MG42, so a bit awkward. Still holding on. Bring in some flampanzas for some fun. Don't know if I'd, they get there in time. But we shall see. They are actually uh, mortaring my IGs now. Pull them back. Unfortunately, my Panzergren's out of ammunition just aren't very useful in that uh, in that area. Uh, let's well, with that modifier should be able to get the job done. Yeah, I'm kind of curious if we can push back a little bit here with the pioneers.
Of course, as soon as I pull back just a little bit, Avdo's run forwards. We still have car 98 ammunition, so we can kill them off. Got to time the push on that hill, right? Otherwise, we uh, end up not capturing that when I want to. These guys have SVTs, actually. Yeah, those good body get chewed up. Don't really need to bring in anything else. I don't think. We have the Flampanzas on the way. Uh, unless I get them close, they're probably not going to do too much. He's getting low on ammunition again. Oh, this has been counter batteried. I finally decided to stop hitting my bunkers and go for my artillery. I need to get this up a bit to go reload these machine guns. There's a lot of infantry coming in still. Loads of infantry coming in, they're just flooding in. Because we're in phase B, so they've they're getting a lot of points. One of my MGs died. Not good. I just have these start to fall back. Still crushing trucks down here, aren't we? I'm gonna see if I can get these to work. <laughs> I doubt they will. Oh, there we go, some flames going down. What we like to see. <laughs> cool. Actually managing to make this work. Because we just need something that can spot the unit we want to attack. And then the plumbing burfers can do the rest. Actually getting low on ammunition. Can't get too close to the trees, otherwise we'll get annihilated. I've lost a couple of MG42s. Didn't manage to get the total victory because of the timing there. But 17 minutes, 10 seconds, major victory will do. 155 kills, two losses. <laughs> there we go. Another bunch of Russians taken out. That is crazy. Wow. That's really depleted all of those units, like massively. They're all going to be disorganized. But right, this unit's now under attack. It's also got AA covering it, which means I'm probably going to have to call in this unit to back it up. That's rough. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. Going to have to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, we'll make this defense against what looks like the 138th Guards Rifle Regiment, the 50th Guards Rifle Regiment, and the artillery. Actually, there's not much there. Like, in terms of, like, actual substance, there's a lot of AT guns. But I guess only the Sapari and the Resvitka are really 
any trouble, this unit is extremely weak. And this unit, I think, got bombarded previously. So we don't have that to reinforce. We definitely have to reinforce with these guys. But then that's going to leave them vulnerable to an attack over here. We'll have to wait and see. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.